Hey everybody, my name is Chris. I'm a licensed therapist and a coach and today I want to talk to you a little bit about debt. If you haven't seen my videos before, I talk a lot about uh, mental health, psychology, and fitness. Um, but today again I want to talk about debt and talk to you about how I got out of $85,000 of debt in approximately two years. Um, so the first step when getting out of debt, you probably know this already, but it's sacrificing the things that your buddies are doing. Um, going to Disney World, going out to eat, um, going to the movies constantly. In fact, I used to grab ticket stubs out of garbage cans when I was in high school and I would just flash it to the guy who would you know, tear the ticket stubs up and just pretend that I already had a movie uh, so I wouldn't have to pay for movie tickets. Little things like that. The first thing you have to do is get used to sacrificing things that your, your friends are doing and kind of eradicate that fear of missing out on what other people are doing. And the problem today is when you scroll through Instagram, I know you're looking at your buddies and they're doing a lot of things. It looks like they're living life really, really well. But if you're trying to get out of debt, that's just not going to work. The next step is understanding that you can have like a healthy, nutritious, balanced life with less money. Um, and I can talk more about that in a different video. But honestly, you can still have a good, healthy, nutritious life, good exercise regimens and good mental health while dealing with debt. I was spending about $2,000 a month on my debt. Um, which was killing me, but I have a $10 a month gym membership, and that's nothing. Uh, so don't sacrifice your mental health because it's going to impact your ability to get out of debt in the sense that you're going to want to buy things to perk yourself up. Um, but don't do that. That's, that's a silly mistake. So the next thing is remember about friends and supporters. So I don't know who you hang out with, but you've probably heard that you're the sum of your five closest friends, which is pretty dang accurate, actually. Um, be aware of who you're, who you're spending time with. A lot of people are, are not frivolous. They're not very frugal. They love to shop on Amazon. They love to hit the Cyber Monday deals and just go crazy. Don't do that. Don't associate yourself with that type of behavior. And if you do have friends who do that and they want to do that, it's totally fine. But kind of, you know, again, separate yourself from hanging out with them. Um, I, had a, I have a great group of friends, fortunately, that really helped me um, financially because they were pretty frugal going through school and medical school and things of that nature. So that helped me get out of debt really easily as well because I had that support system that really understood what I was going through. Um, and on the back end, it's like I said, it's been about two years, guys. It has been so worth all the sacrifices that I made. It was rough for a long period of time. I had some awesome people supporting me during that. But now I am 100% debt free and I can't even explain to you how, well, freeing that is for me. Um, it's like I can start a whole new chapter of my life and you can do the exact same thing by simply following some basic steps of sacrificing, surrounding yourself by the right people and not fearing uh, what other people are doing and um, fearing that, that life of missing out. Uh, so if you, if you like uh, this video and if you want more videos like this, um, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, please. Uh, comment, let me know what you think. Did you get out of debt? What did you do? Um, kind of give me a heads up of what your experience has been with debt. Um, I'm 100% debt free and if you are as well, I'd love to hear your story. 